Hello everyone, my name is Elmira and I'm happy to be presenting my paper to you today. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in information visualization with focus on design and evaluation of visual analytics interfaces to strengthen human automation collaboration. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going to first talk about how we characterize the problem as the first step of the design study for this particular case study, which is the delignification process in the paper pulp mill digester. Then I will talk about how I obtain the functionalities that need to be supported by the interface to facilitate the decision making for the operators of paper pulp digester. This was done through a work domain analysis that I performed on the transcribed data of data collection that was done on site with uh, the operators in two different factories in Sweden. Then I'm going to explain how the outcome of the work domain analysis led to the design of a focus context linked view interface. Uh, and that is what this presentation is going to be about today. Paper pulp is produced from wood chips. The content of wood chips is approximately 50% water, 25% cellulose fiber, which is what the mill needs to make pulp. And pulp is the main ingredient to make paper. The remaining 25% is a liquid called lignin, which is the natural glue that holds the wood fibers together. To obtain the pulp, the lignin must be removed from the wood chips, which takes place in the digester. Here you see a schematic figure of a continuous pulp digester, which is basically a tall vertical tubular reactor. Once wood chips are pre-steamed, they are conveyed from the high pressure feeder to the top of the digester. At the digester's top, white liquor is introduced in accordance with the required effective alkali to wood ratio, while black liquor is added to maintain the desired liquor to wood ratio within the digester. The initial section at the top of the digester is referred to as the impregnation zone, which initiates the delignification process, dissolving approximately 20 to 25% of the total lignin content. The chips are then rapidly heated in the heating zone to the cooking temperature. The heating zone is usually equipped with one or more liquor circulation screens along its outer edge. These screens facilitate the extraction of liquor, which is then circulated back to the digester's center. The recirculation loops maintain the desired cooking conditions inside the digester, including temperature and liquor strength. Directly beneath the heating zone lies the cooking zone, where most of the delignification reactions occur. In the cooking zone, the spent liquor is separated and extracted using extraction screens. In the countercurrent washing zone of the digester, cold and diluted wash liquor is injected at the bottom of the digester to slow down the delignification reaction and extract remaining liquor from the chips while preserving the fiber properties. Finally, the cooked pulp is extracted from the bottom of the digester. The quality of the resulting pulp is assessed using the kappa number, which indicates the amount of lignin that remains in the pulp. The main parameter controlled by operators is called H-factor, which determines the temperature over time for the wood chips in the digester and directly affects the kappa value. However, adjusting H-factor poses a challenge as operators experience a several hour delay in receiving feedback on the effect of their adjustments on kappa. Therefore, to assess the viability of a strategy, they often compare the situation with the historical records during which the processes in the plant ran steadily. The work domain analysis is performed to investigate the task-based needs of an operator. The functional purpose level identifies the goals of the process, which in this case is the delignification process. The priority measure uh, measures level defines the criteria to measure how well the interface is fulfilling the functional goals. 
The purpose-related functions are identified from the level above based on the defined priority measures. And finally, the physical functions level identifies the specific functionalities that the interface must have so that each purpose-related function is supported. In this figure, you see the WDA performed on the delignification process. The uh, work domain analysis or the, the, the WDA relies on uh, the state of the art study on the domain specific tasks and also the interviews conducted with the process operators that work with the uh, paper mill digester. Uh, to know more about how I obtained each individual block of this diagram, please uh, feel free to have a look at the details uh, written in the paper. Now I'm going to present to you the linked view interface, which uh, is the outcome of the work domain analysis and aims to support each individual function functionalities, like each individual function that was obtained in the fourth level of the uh, WDA. The linked view interface contains four connected views. Following the WDA requirement to visualize the historical trends for the goal point, the topological view enables interaction with the machine learning classifier, which visualizes the historical data points. And these data points have been found most similar to the current situation. The circle chart to the right provides insight on model accuracy, which is mapped by color intensity, and performance as well, which is mapped on the radial axis. The slider is used to specify the desired variation criteria depending on the controlled process stage. The uh, current process stage is highlighted in yellow in this uh, schematic figure. Following the WDA requirement for visualizing kappa number across the digester's length, the situation view shows the profile of the key performance parameter, which is the kappa number through the process cycle and shows deviations from a selected optimal profile as well, which is represented by the dotted line. Following uh, the other two requirements obtained from the WDA for visualizing the um, acceptable range uh, of the key performance parameters, as well as visualizing the corresponding values for key performance parameters, that those that affect the kappa number. Uh, following these two requirements, the uh, strategy view shows variation limits for controlled and monitored parameters obtained from the historical data points. And lastly, the control view at the bottom shows the consequences of an adjustment uh, predicted by the ML model for the selected parameter, which in this case is the temperature for the shown example. The extent to which the explored adjustment value affects copper recovery is also shown on the situation view uh, through the color, the solid line. With that, I would like to thank you for your attention.